Okay, good day viewers, good day everyone. Today, I'm here to bring you a video I promised earlier about uh, hardborn. Bye. Uh, discussing about um, hardborn today, I want us to start this way. Assuming, as I was keeping this rope, that I started, before I started this, I had to eat and uh, stop my stomach with food and came and started this. You know what will happen? I definitely will be feeling a like, uh, acid reflux. That's a backflow of gas from this food. So this defines what acid reflux is and what heartburn is. Now let's distinguish it. Acid reflux is actually that which happens when your stomach, okay, let's use this. If you look at the screen you would see the diagram of uh, the stomach from the esophagus we call it the food pipe to the stomach so from this diagram you see you will notice that there is a certain point where the stomach goes like this so if food is inside the stomach and uh, you do certain kind of movement like this you notice that you will feel a kind of backflow which makes you feel something like you're regurgitating. You know, the goat, goat eats and throws off food. And you have a sour taste in your mouth. So that's acid reflux. So it's not that bad because it happens naturally. But then, if this acid reflux has to continue every time you eat, what happens? The gas will begin or the acid will begin to irritate that food pipe that runs down to your stomach. So the irritation of that food pipe comes with certain symptoms that would begin to feel, be felt in your heart area, your chest area. And that is what is heartburn. However, for people who talk about or uh, suffer from uh, or know about uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease, that is an extension of this. When this irritation continues and begins to cause some other symptoms beyond the normal pains of uh, of a heartburn and causes a situation, a disease condition. The disease condition is known as gastroesophageal reflux disease and that is a very bad or terrible state. However, at this point, talking about heartburn, what causes it? How? What are the risk factors? Hardborn could be caused by a lot of things. The risk factors are many. It could be caused by one. Think about overeating. If you're overeating food, such could cause you hardborn. Because just like I explained in the uh, acid reflux. Then, what of uh, in a situation where you lie down soon after eating you lie down to bed on the bed such could equally cost you acid reflux because you need to wait after eating at least three hours before you lie down but we go to that when we're talking about the prevention what else could cause you besides obesity obesity has been indicated as causing a lot of diseases in this condition yes it can cost you hardball what else hardball the kind of food you eat what kind of food some people it's not that the food is bad not that the foods you eat are bad but this food has certain level of gas that you have to eat them in moderation and what kind of things can you do when you're eating them for instance beans produces a lot of gas uh broccoli and some other foods so what do you do let me even add the prevention earlier now what do you do in this kind of acidic food you have to use alkaline foods to ameliorate their effects. What are the alkaline foods? Think of banana, think of avocado, and some other alkaline foods that are detailed in the articles attached to this. What else could cause you acid reflux? Remember, our, the, like I explained about the esophagus and the stomach, the, uh, the body or the walls of our esophagus might differ as much as they are the same, but they might differ from individual to individual depending on the conditions or their genetic uh, factors or components. So that might, some people's uh, esophagus are very sensitive that when they eat anything. So avoid certain things like spicy food when it is happening to you. And how do you even know? You need to 
uh, have a journal of whatever food you're eating so that you, if you're feeling heartburn you need to write down any food you're eating every day that would help you to identify hey this food that triggers it could cause me heartburn mm. then another thing that could equally cause you heartburn is uh, the drinks alcohol check it when you're drinking caffeine such all things that are equally in that uh, category that might equally trigger yours there are other factors as listed on the articles but this is just to explain and uh, let you know that you can you may be having heartburn but there are ways you can equally help yourself not to have it to the extent or not even to have it at all um in terms of sleeping or laying down some people eat so early uh, late at night if you're eating late at night if you don't, that time that you find your food to eat fine but still give yourself like three hours before you go to bed how do you even lie on the bed you lay a bed incline not that you wouldn't use pillow but when you're using pillow don't use pillow to the extent that your your head will be like this you see it will still be having some kind of uh, undulated position so the way you can lie down in this manner that would help you the flow the smooth flow of food to your stomach so these and other things that are not equally mentioned here will help you um, if you're taking alcohol smoking as well is another factor that could cause you that and um, like I said check the article attached to this initially and then you will find out more details on hardware but these mentioned here will help you to understand that the esophagus through which the tract through which this food goes and the stomach needs certain kind of uh, conditions not to have your food throw back or irritate your esophageal lining so thank you so much as you listen to this video and enjoy the view.